This is it. It's Arena Championship Series West Championship Weekend. Tonight, we crown our series champion. Please welcome your two contenders, Matt Cody and Gravedigger, and Dalton Widener in Jurassic Attack. So when your health declines, see, we've all got something that we trapped inside that we try to suffocate you. First up is the JCB Racing Competition. All eight drivers have been seated randomly in this competition. This is a time competition where there's driver and monster against the clock and the other teams. They have to navigate the track just right to achieve the fastest time. Each driver will have one chance to turn in their best run, and the truck with the fastest time will get the racing victory. Now this is our driver's first chance at eight out of possible 32 points for tonight's overall event championship. Now, fans, if you take a look up at our video boards, you can actually see which Monster Jam truck has been assigned to your section. And if that Monster Jam truck wins tonight's racing competition, that section will be going home with free Chick-fil-A due to being Chick-fil-A's lucky section winner. Now, Charlotte, who's ready for JCB Racing? Representing section 106, please welcome Berto Trevino and Monster Mutt Ruttweiler. Free Chick-fil-A is on the line tonight, but also the first eight points towards the overall event championship. It's going to be a great night. We crown a champion. Let's go racing. <laughs> Trevino, Monster Mutt Rottweiler with the time of 10.167 seconds. <laughs> Please
Please welcome representing section 114, sitting at second place in the series championship points. It's Delta Widener, Jurassic Attack. Point one six seven seconds. That is the time to beat here at the JCB Racing Competition. Dalton is fast because he be the fastest. Let's find out. Nine point seven five zero seconds for Dalton Widener. Jurassic Attack. That is your new time to beat. Next, representing section 115, it's Devin Winfield and Velociraptor. Velociraptor. Coming up next, representing Section 104, please welcome Ashley Sanford Miglaton. Stanford and Megalodon with a score of 11 seconds flat. There will be no five second penalty. The coach stayed in his place. 11 seconds flat for Ashley Stanford and Megalodon. Fans, if you take a look up at our leaderboards, let's see just how the first half of this racing competition is stacking up. Currently in fourth place, we've got Ashley Stanford Megalodon. Third place is Devin Winfield in Velociraptor. Then we've got Berto Trevino, Monster Mutt Rottweiler, and currently holding on to that first place spot, that's Dalton Widener in Jurassic Attack with your time to beat of a 9.750 seconds. But up next, this driver will love to take the number one spot representing section 105. It's MG Solario and El Toro Loco. That'll currently put him in the second place spot. Your time to beat still Jurassic Attack, but look who's up next. Coming up next. Representing section 102, it's Matt Cody Grave Digger. That 
that's a DNF. That's a did not finish for Matt Cody in Gravedigger. That will put him at the bottom of racing and that just changes the whole complexion of the points chase on arena championship series west because matt cody could have locked this up in jcb racing but right there around the turn and it just goes on its side like there's nothing matt could have done Absolutely not. Watch coming around this turn. He comes around this turn. He gets up on his side, and it's going up to the ramp where he's hoping the truck's going to fall back down. But the truck went on its other side. Wow. Matt Cody in Gravedigger. What a developing story. Hey, Monster Jam fans, I am up here in the stands with Wells, and he is up for a fun competition. He is going to name as many colors as he can think of in 15 seconds, and then he's going to go up head-to-head -head against one of our Monster Jam truck drivers, who's also going to name as many colors as he can think of in 15 seconds. So, Wells, you ready? Give me a fist bump. All right, get that timer up there on the big screen, DJ Pat. So on the count of three, we're going to name as many colors as you can think of. One, two, three. Purple, pink, blue, orange, gray, black, gold, green, yellow, red, silver, maroon, orange, navy, blue, blue. All right, we got 15 up there. Way to go, Wells. Now we're going to go to see how many MJ Solorio, the driver of El Toro Loco, how many he could think of in 15 seconds. Congratulations, Wells. <laughs> and we want to talk about a developing story right now because we're getting word of what's going on with Team Gravedigger. Obviously, you could tell there was a small header fire on that Monster Jam truck. Well, we're also getting word now there's a lot of oil coming out from the bottom of that Monster Jam truck with Gravedigger and Matt Cody. And this is where it gets really interesting because earlier today, all Matt Cody Gravedigger had to do was lock up racing and be three points ahead of Dolph Weiner Jurassic Attack to take the series. Now things have changed dramatically because if there's an engine issue and they have to swap a motor, he may miss a couple of competitions before he gets to come back and that opens the door completely for Dalton Weiner and Jurassic Attack. This is going to be a huge developing story as we go into the rest of the night. And here's the thing too, we still have other drivers that compete in the JCB racing competition. So in the JCB racing competition, those other drivers can take first place and also throw a wrench into these plans because if Dalton Weiner doesn't take first place spot and he falls into third place spot, it, you know, anything can happen. So we're gonna continue on. Coming up next, it's Tony Oaks in Thunder RS. He'll be representing section 113, Tony Oaks in Thunder RS. Section 113, make some noise for Tony Oaks and Thunder Ores.
But we're not done yet. We still have one more truck to go. Coming out next, representing Section 103, please welcome Tim Hall in Earthshaker. Tim Hall Jr. is coming to the starting line. Waiting on the official call with this time if there will be a five second penalty or not. Five second penalty, it'll be a 16.917 seconds for Tim Hall Jr. Earthshaker, which means your winner of this competition. Give it up for Tony Oaks in Thunder Roras. At section 113, the Chick-fil-A cow has made his way to your area. You just won yourselves all a free sandwich from Chick-fil-A. Section 113, congratulations once again, but also congratulations are in order for the man who's won racing this afternoon and tonight. You know, Tony, maybe they'll share some Chick-fil-A vouchers with you for helping Section 113 get the victory. Stand by with Sarah. Congratulations, Tony Oaks and Thunder Roars on winning his second racing win here in Charlotte this weekend, really making Section 113 get up on their feet. But wow, talk about getting everyone here in Charlotte up on their feet and way to, way to kick off tonight's event. Man, I don't know whether I'm happier for winning racing or happier for getting all, scoring all these guys some free Chick-fil-A, man, for the second time today. This is awesome. Now, Tony, what can these fans expect from you? Are you going to keep this momentum up in the upcoming Great Clips Two-Wheel Skills Challenge? That's really where you like to balance that dyno on its nose. Yeah, man, you know this dirt, it's changing. It's crazy how much it's changing uh, due to the humidity level outside. You know, it rained earlier. It's so much more humid than it was earlier today. And we got air conditioning going in here. It's like the dew falling on this dirt. So I think you're going to see it slick up like pig snot on this thing. And it's going to create a little bit of challenge. But you know what? We got a few tricks up our sleeves for two-wheel skills. And you're going to see trucks on their back wheels, front wheels, side wheels, upside down wheels. Charlotte, hold on to your butts because it's about to get hot. Tim Hall Jr. and Urshaker will start us off here in the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. Again, each driver will have two attempts in this competition. So remember, Monster GM fans, to keep your phones out and go to judgeszone.com and use that code CLT for our Monster Jam drivers.
out there shaking things up. Give it up for Tim Hall Jr. in Earthshaker. Get your first score locked in. Very nice job by Tim Hall Jr. in Earthshaker. The second attempt, the nice wheelie, and then up on the nose with the first attempt here. The Great Clips Two-Wheel Skills Challenge. He'll set that bar and set that score to beat here in the Great Clips Two-Wheel Skills Challenge. Now, what will that score be? That's what we're going to find out from you, the Monster Jam fans, at judgeszone.com. Scores are locked in. Let's take it straight to the board. 7.312 for Earthshaker. Coming up next, it's Ashley Sanford in Megalodon. Making that shark fly out of the water. Make some noise for Ashley Sanford, Megalodon. Ashley Sanford and Megalodon, that second attempt. You know, she is one of the best at the sky wheelies here in the competition. A nice job by Ashley Sanford in Megalodon. A very nice job here in the Great Clips to Wheel Skills Challenge. There she is. Family, friends here seeing her this weekend. Her former crew chief was her boyfriend's here hanging out as well this weekend. Ashley Sanford in Megalodon. Now, what will the score be? Will it be enough to be your new leader? That's what you'll tell us when we get your scores locked in. Your scores are locked in. What's seen on the big screen? It's a 5.348 for Ashley Sanford in Megalodon. We're going to keep on going. Coming up next, it's Devin Winfield and Velociraptor. Devin Whitfield of Velociraptor, the truck shut down. He still has one attempt remaining. Could be an electrical issue or could be a fuel issue for Devin Whitfield of Velociraptor. Score 
pairing is open for Devin Winfield in Velociraptor, showing us a balancing act out there. Especially that second attempt. You want to talk about a balancing act. Devin Winfield and Velociraptor, a nice job. See, Dev, they loved it. They loved it, man. A very nice job in the Great Cliffs two-wheel skills challenge. What will the score be for that young man? Will it be enough to be your new leader, new score to beat? Because your score to beat is Earthshaker with a 7.312. The score for Velociraptor is... Your new leader and new score to beat. Coming up next, it's Tony Elks and Thunder Aris. Tony Oaks in Thunder Roar is doing what he does best, balancing that dyno every which way on those tires. Get your scores locked in. Tony Oaks in Thunder Roar is just having a night inside the Spectrum Center. Incredible racing pass, incredible great wheel clips, two wheel skills challenge run up on the nose, walking up across the pod. Your score to beat is Velociraptor with an 8.537. The score for Thunder Roris is 8.537. Your new leader, a new score to beat. Fans, I'm up in the stands in section 104, but I was actually able to get out to those pits after our racing event to see what was going on with Gravedigger. Was he going to be able to come back for this Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge? Went out there, checked with his team. You can see all hands on deck for Team Gravedigger there. We got crew chief and all our UNOH technicians trying to check out and determine what was going on with that truck. Fortunately, speaking with his crew chief, Sebastian, it sounds like everything is just cosmetic damage. The flames that you saw was actually just oil leaking out and hitting the headers, causing those flames. It was not any explosion or damage to the uh, any of the engine or the motor part. And so fortunately, it's looking good for Gravedigger and that team and getting that truck back out here for the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. But that doesn't matter right now, because coming up next is the man that wants to take the title away from him. It's Delta Widener in Jurassic Attack.
Look at the Jumbotron. He's got the steering wheel out the window. No steering wheel. Dalton Widener, Jurassic Attack out there saying, anything you could do, I could do with the steering wheel out the window. Get your scores locked in for Jurassic Attack. That was pretty impressive here in the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. A great run by Dalton Widener at Jurassic Attack. Your scores are in. Your score to beat is Thunder Roris with a 9.189. Don played Division One football at that school here in University of North Carolina at Charlotte. Remember your score to beat Thunder Wars with a 9.189. The score for Jurassic Attack is oh so close. That'll currently put him in second place. We're going to continue on. We're not done yet. MJ Solorio and El Toro Loco is up next. For MJ Solorio El Toro Loco. One of the best two wheel, wheel runs I think we've seen from MJ this year, especially the first move, the popper, where he just let it all hang out and walked it across the pod. 
Great job by MJ Solorio and El Toro Loco here on the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. Your scores are locked in, and we're gonna see it up on the video board. It's a 7.701, it's a good score for Monster Mutt Rottweiler. Coming up next, it's Monster Mutt Rottweiler, Berto Trevino. Let's give it up for Berto Trevino and Monster Mutt Rottweiler. Get your scores locked in at judgeszone.com. Here in this competition, a very nice job by Berto Trevino and Monster Mutt Rottweiler. What will the score be? Because this was a very good run, that popper. That was a very violent popper. Just popped it up straight up and walked it across. Your scores are locked in. It's a 5.743. But Charlotte, North Carolina, we're not done yet. They got him fixed. The black and green wrecking machine is up next. Matt Cody Gravedigger. Make some noise for Matt Cody and Gravedigger and get those final scores locked in. That truck is not 100%. That truck is still having problems, but he came out here and he really put it on the line. The first move, it went for the nose wheel, and that second one was the reverse and walked it up, turned it into a combination and walked it back. Your score to beat. It's Thunder Roars with a 9.189. The score for Gravedigger is 7.940, which means your winner 
is Tony Oaks in Thunder Roris. And Dalton Weiner Jurassic Attack is still in contention for the championship. Tony Oaks and Thunder Roris, this is your weekend, man. Congratulations again to Tony Oaks and Thunder Roris. Man, you said that this dirt was going to be slick, but it was no match for you and that dyno. Yeah, you all saw it. Uh, some people, it, it stuck real nice and tight. Uh, and then, Gra you know, uh, like Grave Digger, he went out and it slid both times. It, it's that humidity setting in, the dew setting in. It's getting slick. That's going to make for some awesome donut action here in the second half of the event. That sounds like something that these fans are going to love, Tony. You see in that dyno spin round and round which you are also known for, so I'm excited to see what you bring. But I want to know, later on, we've got freestyle. Of course, we've got donuts coming up. But what can these fans expect out of the upcoming halftime, too? I know that you always have something to say about those high-flying motocross riders. Oh, man. First, I want to say donut competition. You all are scoring the donut competition. I've been seated number one to come out first in donuts. Historically, that gets a poor score just because they come out first. But I want you all to just remember, you see a good donut, give it a good score. But you know what? Up next, we got these crazy, clinically insane, psychotic freestyle motocross dirt bike riders. Charlotte, it's going to be awesome. Hold on to your seats. Here comes the high-flying motocross riders. Congratulations to Tony Oaks at Thunder Earth on the victory. But Charlotte, North Carolina, it's a historical night here tonight. We have just gotten word it has happened. Matt Cody in Gravedigger has secured the win. He is your Arena Series West Champion. After the live event concludes here tonight, there will be a trophy presentation to Matt Cody and Gravedigger and his team. So please stick around. Congratulations to Matt Cody and Gravedigger. But at this time, we're going to take a short break with our halftime. During this brief break, you head to the official Monster Jam merchandise stands for all that great gear. We'll be right back with more Monster Jam. But right now, it's halftime. Charlotte, North Carolina, are you ready for some freestyle motocross? We only have one rule here at Monster Jam, Sarah and I, the louder you cheer, the higher they're going to fly, the more tricks you're going to see. So, Charlotte, let me hear ya! Charlotte, you've been bringing the noise for our Monster Jam truck drivers. I'm going to need you to bring that same energy here for our USFMX riders. Charlotte, the louder you cheer, the higher these guys are gonna fly. So put your hands together as we get ready to meet our riders. Coming up first from Stafford, Virginia, it's Zach DiPaolo. Next up from Norfolk, Massachusetts, it's Nick Desmond. Now from Baltimore, Maryland, give it up for Ryan Logan. And representing his home state of North Carolina from Asheville, it's Josh Hedford.
Don't forget, Monster Jam fans, after the live event concludes here with Monster Jam, we will have a trophy presentation crowning our Arena Series West Champion here with Monster Jam. We will be crowning our Arena Series West Champion, Matt Cody and Gravedigger, after the conclusion of this live event right after Monster Jam concludes. So make sure you stick around, whether you're here inside the Spectrum Center or live around the world on YouTube watching us. Make sure that you are tuning in for history in the making with Matt Cody and Grave Digger gets crowned our Arena Series West Champion. Hey, Monster Jam fans, he's up, he's moving. Let me hear you make some noise. Come on, make some noise for our free set motocross riders. Some of the best professionals in the business here on our floor here with Monster Jam. Here at Monster Jam and Arena Series West, these are the professional freestyle motocross riders, and they're going to continue performing for you, the Monster Jam fans. So, Charlotte, they really need to hear you. Let me hear you make some noise. Charlotte, make some noise one more time for our USFMX riders. Next up is our FMX Best Trick competition. These three riders are going to be out there throwing down their best trick one at a time. Now, when they land on this side of the ramp, they're going to be jumping from one side of the arena to the other. And when they land on this side, you're going to have 20 seconds to get your scores in for each rider, just like you were doing for our Monster Jam trucks in the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. Now, Charlotte, let me hear you make some noise if you're ready for the FMX Best Trick Competition. Let's get it started. Here we go with Zach DiPaolo here with Monster Jam. It's time for freestyle motocross. Zach DiPaolo is going to be up first. From Stafford, Virginia, he's been riding for 10 years, Zach DiPaolo. Here we go. Scoring is open for Zach DiPaolo with a side heart as his best trick out there. Able to get his body fully above that bike while keeping those hands on the seat. Check out a replay on our super glue replay up there on our big screens right now. Watch that side heart again. Get those scores locked in for Zach DiPaolo. Riding 10 years freestyle motocross. This man has done two American Ninja Warrior stunts before. And he's also ridden on the FMX World Tour. Make some noise one more time for Zach DiPaolo. Your scores are locked. We're going to check it out on the video board. And it's a 
here for Zach to follow, but we're just getting started. We saw more riders to go. Nick Desmond is coming up next here with Freestyle Motocross Best Trick Competition. Let me hear you make some noise. Eighteen years riding. He's been competing with Monster Jam for over three years from Norfolk, Massachusetts. Scoring is open for Nick Desmond. Able to get all of his body off of that bike, letting go of the seat and able to re-land. Check out a replay on that super glue replay up on our big screens and get your scores locked in for Nick Desmond. What is the score going to be? Is it going to be enough? Your score to beat? Is Zach DePaulo with a 7.304? The score for Nick Desmond is 8.024. Your new leader and new score to beat. Coming up next is Josh Hedford. Josh Hedford, 16 years riding freestyle motocross. He's competed in Nitro Circus. Let's see what he's got. Here we go. Scoring is open for Josh Hedford, doing a backflip with a little extra flair there for all of you Charlotte fans. Get your last scores locked in for Josh Hedford. This man has been riding for 16 years freestyle motocross. He's trained to be a hot yoga instructor, and he's also competed in Night of the Jump. So if you're an FMX fan, you might have seen him there. Get those final scores locked in for Josh Hedford. Well, is it enough? Because your score to beat is Nick Desmond with an 8.024. The score for Josh Hedford is your winner is Josh Hedford. Congratulations, Josh Hedford, on winning tonight's FMX Best Trick Competition. We're going to be bringing him back up here for an interview, but before we do that, I want to know, Charlotte, who wants to see some more freestyle motocross? We're going to bring our riders back for what we like to call the grand finale of FMX, where these riders are going to jump this ramp back to back to back. But first, I'm going to need you to make some noise for the Monster Jam train. Here they come. Make some noise, Charlotte! Spectrum Center, what do you say? Who wants to see that Monster Jam train again? All right, Charlotte, it's up to you. Who wants to see that Monster Jam train one last time? Charlotte, make some noise one last time for your US FMX team. Standing by with the winner of tonight's FMX Best Trick Competition, Josh Hedford. Congratulations, Josh. Give it up one more time.
Congratulations, Josh. Your second FMX Best Trick win of the day here. Joining us on Arena Series West for the first time this season and just clearing house with this FMX Best Trick win back to back here today. Yeah, that was, a, that was a pretty exciting one. Um, yeah, I'm glad to be in Charlotte. You know, I only live like two hours away up in the mountains, so I feel like I'm at home in my backyard. Are you guys having a good time? Sounds like they are, and you really got them up cheering out of their seats, Josh. Now, you've been riding motocross for quite a few years. You placed, uh, or you've been competing in Nitro Circus and Night of the Jumps. Tell these fans what that career has been like, riding with Monster Jam and all of these different series able to just conquer in FMX? Oh, it's been an adventure, that's for sure. Oh, freestyle motocross, not your, your typical sport or like most things in life. So you kind of have to like do a lot of hard work and travel and perform at like your best and try to stay as safe as possible. That's our first rule is like safety first. That's why we started jumping to massive blow up bags and uh, trying to keep ourselves to, uh, doing this as long as possible and as safe as possible. So it's been about 16 years I've been doing this and I started riding pedal bikes when I was like two years old. So it's pretty awesome to still be on two wheels. Still out here following the dream and achieving it, winning these FMX best trick competitions left and right. Now, Josh, you've also ridden with Monster Jam for a few years. So what has that been like being a part of the Monster Jam family, touring the world, touring the country with Monster Jam? Oh, it's been awesome. The world tour has been awesome. I've been traveling with these guys for a long time, ever since I was a little kid. Like you guys out there and little girls and boys, you guys, uh, you guys make it, you know. When I was a grave digger and uh, Max D and I was hooked, so now we're here. What a cool journey. We'll give it up one more time for Josh Hedford, the winner of tonight's FMX Best Trick Competition. Let's check out the video board right now, and you can see Tony Ups at Thunder Horse has 16 points, followed by Don Weiner, Jurassic Attack with 14, El Toro Loco, and Velociraptor with 10, and so on down the line. It's still anybody's game as we're going to get ready to go into the next competition, which will be the donut competition. Each driver is going to have one attempt to come out here and do their best donut, and you're going to look for speed of rotations, creativity, the number of revolutions, and of course, the wow factor. That's coming up next here with Monster Jam. You know, I've been doing this a long time. It's still my favorite part of this job is getting to meet the Monster Jam fans. And I saw this dude. He was having a great time. What is your name? Johnny. All right, Johnny. So here's what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to play a little bit of Monster Jam trivia. And I'm going to have everybody inside the Spectrum Center help you out. Okay, so let's take a look at the video board. And we're going to see what the question is. What Monster Jam truck is known as the Black and Green Wrecking Machine? Is it A, Gravedigger, B, Megalodon? CL Toro Loco or D Zombie. On the count of three, Charlie, I want you to shout your answer. One, two, three. What do you think the answer is? Grave Digger. Grave Digger, let's see if you're right. Hey, you got it right. Nice job. Good job. So since you got it right, I got to give you something really cool here, and I do have something cool. We just showed the commercial for this. This is the Monster Jam Megalodon Loop of Doom playset brought to you by Spin Master. You know, you get it at Walmart, Target, wherever toys are sold. But you can't buy this one because before the event tonight, you told me your favorite truck is Gravedigger, right? This is signed by Matt Cody and Gravedigger and Dalton Widener and Jurassic Attack. So you're going home with this today, courtesy of myself a Monster Jam. Make some noise. Let them hear you. But before we continue on, I, I need help from a friend here in just a moment. So what we're, we're going to do, I want to get all of you fans out of your seat. So we're going to spin the wheel up on the screen and see what we're going to do here. Hey, it's flex cam time. So I want you out of your seats, Monster Jam fans. And I want to see those muscles. It's time for the flex cam. Let's see those muscles. Come on.
Well, I'm seeing some muscles out there for sure, but I want to see more Charlotte fans up and out of their seats. So, DJ Pat, why don't we spin that wheel one more time and see what we can do here. What's it going to be this time? Air guitar? Or maybe my favorite? It's my favorite. It's time for dance cam. It's time for our Chick-fil-A dance party. So let me see you get up out of those seats because it's time to jump around. Great job, Charlotte, but I have one question. Are you ready for more Monster Jam? Next up is the Monster Jam Donut Competition. Each of our Monster Jam truck drivers is going to have one attempt to, to throw down their very best donut. And you, the fans, are going to be scoring them based on a few pieces of criteria. You're going to be looking for speed, control, creativity, and number of revolutions. Now, Charlotte, I want to know who's ready for Monster Jam Donuts? Coming up first, it's Tony Oaks in Thunder Roaris. <laughs> Looks like that track is starting to get sticky out there. Make some noise. For Tony Oaks and Thunder Roar is still getting in a donut attempt. He tried his best. Tony Oaks at Thunder Roars. And he even said in his interview when he won two wheel that that track was going to be sticky, you know, out here. And that's all right. You still got the freestyle competition, Mr. Tony Oaks. We'll see what's going to happen here in just a little bit with that competition. So get your scores locked in. He's going to set that bar, set that score to beat. Scores are locked. Let's we'll see what it is. 4.301 for Tony Oaks and Thunder Wars. Let's continue on. Up next, Roberto Trevino and Monster Mutt Rottweiler. Chasing his tail, make some noise for Berto Trevino, Monster Mutt Rottweiler. Those might be the best donuts of the weekend, Charlotte. <laughs> Woo! Berto Trevino and Monster Mutt Rottweiler getting dizzy 
out there on the track begging for bones. What will the score be? Will it be a high score? Will it be enough to stay in that top spot? Your score to beat is Thunder Horse. We're at a 4.301. The score from Monster Mutt Rottweiler is 8.894. Your new leader, a new score to beat. Coming up next, it's Matt Cody, Grave Digger, the Arena Series West Champion. Matt Cody and Grave Digger will be next. Matt Cody, a grave digger. Very nice job in the donut competition, getting those revolutions and those spins in. Now, was that the best you've seen here tonight? That's what you need to score on, which you see on the track, Monster Jam fans. And again, those are some nice revolutions by Matt Cody and Grave Digger. Now, your score to beat is Monster Mutt Rottweiler with an 8.894. The score for Grave Digger is. 8.283 for Matt Cody and Gravedigger. Up next is Delta Widener in Jurassic Attack. Dalton Widener, Jurassic Attack. Imagine not using the steering wheel, spinning that Monster Jam truck so fast. Your score to beat is Monster Mutt Rottweiler, winning 8.894. The score for Dalton Widener, Jurassic Attack is... Here's your new leader and new score to beat. Let's keep it going with Ashley Sanford in Megaton.
Making that shark attack the track. Give it up for Ashley Sanford, Megalodon. Ashley Sanford and Megalodon with some very nice revolutions as well here in the donut competition. Make sure you get your scores locked in at judgeszone.com for Ashley Sanford and Megalodon. Some very nice donuts by all of our drivers here tonight. Scores are locked in, and let's see what you fans thought. 8.346, it's a good score. Good enough for currently in third place. Up next, it's Devin Winfield and Velociraptor. Locked in at judgeszone.com. Devin Winfield and Velociraptor just out here slinging those monster jam donuts. So make sure you're getting your scores locked in at judgeszone.com in this competition. Nice revolutions, nice donuts by Devin Winfield. What will the score be? Because your scores are locked in. Let's check it out. It's a 7.509 for Velociraptor. MJ Solario and El Toro Loco is ready to spin on the track. Here for MG Solorio and El Toro Loco. Very nice revolutions. He got me worried there for a second when he hiked it up on two wheels, but he was able to settle it back down and get it some very good revolutions here in the donut competition. So make sure you're getting your scores locked in for MJ Solorio and El Toro Loco. He's a little dizzy after that run. Your score to beat is Jurassic Attack with a 9.329. The score for El Toro Loco is... So close, it's a 9.190. That'll currently put him in second place. Let's see if he can shake it off. Coming up next, it's Tim Hall Jr. in our shaker. Get your scores locked in. I hear some boos from the Monster Jam audience. We don't boo our Monster Jam drivers because that was an attempt. I want to hear you make some noise. Come on. Every driver comes out here and puts on a performance for you Monster Jam fans, and they try their hardest when they're out here. This dirt is really tricky for our drivers. Your scores are locked in. We're going to see the score of video board to 5.618 for Earthshaker, which means your winner is Dalton Widener in Jurassic Attack.
Dalton Widener in Jurassic Attack. Some of the best donuts here at Monster Jam this weekend. And he's done a great job. Finished second place in the series points. His 17th donut win of the season. You know, one of the best in the world at what he does when it comes to driving monster jam trucks, especially best racers. There he is, give it up for Don Weiner. Congratulations, Dalton Widener, Jurassic Attack. I'll let you catch your breath there, man. You came out of nowhere sprinting from the back. Heard you were working on your truck already, getting it ready for the freestyle competition. No surprise there, but congratulations. You won earlier today in donuts, taking donut win again here today. Getting that steering wheel out the window. How do you pull that off? Man, it's just a whole lot of uh, holding it wide open and just praying it doesn't roll over, man. This dirt's tricky. It's really hard to get a really good donut going. I was breaking all the way down to the concrete, but man, it turned out pretty good for me. What do you think, Charlotte? Sounds like they liked what they saw, but I know that they're going to like what they see in freestyle even more. Dalton, what do you have in store for these Charlotte fans? Man, it's going to be a good time. I know Matt Cody just wrapped up the season championship. Doesn't matter to me. You guys sitting in the seats and you guys watching on YouTube at home, you paid your hard-earned money to come here, watch some Monster Jam. So I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal, Queen City. The louder you get, the wilder I'll get. So let's have a good time. Woo! There's the BKT overall event leaderboard right now. And Dull Winer Jurassic Attack has 22 points, followed by MJ Slory and El Toro Loco with 17. And Thunder Roars with 17. It's still anybody's game as we're getting ready to go into the overall. And don't forget, we have the trophy presentation for our Arena Series West Champion after the conclusion of the live event. You know, here at Monster Jam, we love having fun. I have this young guy right here. What is your name, sir? Regs. All right, here's what we're going to do, man. We're going we're gonna to play a little puzzle game here, okay? You're going to look at the screen, and a puzzle is going to show up, and you have to guess the Monster Jam truck. So here we go. We're going to get on the screen and have everybody here inside the arena help you out. So you got to pay close attention. When you know it, you let us know what it is. Looks like gold dig. That's not even one of our trucks. Megalodon. Megalodon? Is he right? And it is. It is Megalodon. Nice job, man. And guess what? Courtesy of Chick-fil-A Charlotte, you're going to go home with this Chick-fil-A Charlotte prize pack. But this ain't just any prize pack. You have a year's worth of free Chick-fil-A in this bag. Courtesy of our friends at Chick-fil-A Chick Charlotte, you're going home with this today. That's for you, man. Courtesy of Chick-fil-A, Charlotte, that is for you. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. But coming up next is going to be our freestyle competition. And it is where every driver has to come out here and at least complete 15 seconds of the run or more to qualify for a score. And you want to look for things like using all the obstacles, creativity, wow factor, technical moves, and combinations. Now, each Monster Jam truck has 75 seconds to turn in the most spectacular freestyle performance. And one of the things that's going to be happening here tonight, maybe, is the Chick-fil-A move of the night. If we see that Chick-fil-A move of the night happening here tonight, which is a nose wheelie and freestyle, each and every one of you is going to score free Chick-fil-A. Thanks to Chick-fil-A Charlotte.
Monster Jam fans, it's time to get our freestyle competition started. We ask that you help us out by getting out your phones, turning on your flashlights, and following my lead. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Keep it going, Charlotte, and stay on the beat. We've reached the pinnacle of today's event. This is Monster Jam Freestyle. Open for Berto Trevino and Monster Mutt Rottweiler kicking things off out here in the freestyle competition. Berto Trevino and Monster Mutt Rottweiler, a very nice job here in the competition. It's a huge air here in freestyle. Get your scores locked in at judgeszone.com for Berto Trevino and Monster Mutt Rottweiler. What will the score be? Because your scores are locked in. 7.109. Here in the competition, Tim Hall Jr. and Earthshaker is up next.
Shaking things up all over that track using all angles of the pod. Keep making some noise for Tim Hall Jr., Earthshaker. Tim Hall Jr. and Earthshaker hitting every single obstacle. The nice wheelie walk across the pod. A very nice job here in the freestyle, co freestyle competition. So make sure you're getting your scores locked in at judgeszone.com. Your scores are locked in. Now, what will the score be? It's a 6.846 for Tim Hall Jr. and Earthshaker. Now, remember, Monster GM fans, Monster GM World Finals is coming to SoFi Stadium May 18, 2024. A few weeks ago, we unveiled the track design. And this is what the track will look like. It is an S-track design, and you can only see it at Monster Jam World Finals in a few weeks. And if you can get tickets still by going to MonsterJam.com and come joining us, it's the ultimate family vacation down in Los Angeles. So make sure you come and check it out. Really a cool experience. And if you've never seen World Finals before, four champions will be crowned. Get your tickets by going to MonsterJam.com. But Tony Elks and Thunder Ars is coming up next. It's Morgan and Morgan backflip time! The Morgan and Morgan backflip by Tony Elks in Thunder Roar is up over on his side. His right front planetary was broke on that monster chip truck and he still attempted the Morgan and Morgan backflip. There it is. And it twisted him all the way around. Now why would he do that? Your score to beat is Monster Mutt Rottweiler with a 7.109. The score for Tony Oaks and Thunder Roris is... There's your new leader and new score to beat. Hey, Monster Jam fans, I am over here in section 104 with Monster Jam fan Brandy, who is up for a fun competition here. We're going to have her finish the lyric. That's right. She's brave enough to sing some karaoke in front of all of you Charlotte fans. And if she finishes that lyric correctly, she gets to go home with a prize. But if you know this song, I want you to help Brandy and sing along with her. So, Brandy, if you're ready, give me a thumbs up. All right, thumbs are up. DJ Pat, let's hit that track. Monster Energy that's going to be at the Z-Max Dragway in September. Congratulations, Brandy. Ashley Sanford in Megalodon is up next.
Remember, we're closer to the overall event championship. Here tonight, Jurassic Attack has 22 points. El Toro Loco with 17 and Thunder Roars with 17. But we're not done yet. Here's Megaton. some noise for Ashley Sanford in Megalodon. Ashley Sanford in Megalodon. An outstanding run, hitting all the obstacles on the track, getting a nice sky wheelie. Every single thing, you know, to win a freestyle run. She got some of the biggest air of the night here inside the Spectrum Center. Just getting across the pod. Very nice job by Ashley Sanford in Megalodon. Now, what will the score be? What will it be reflected from you to fans? Your scores are locked. Seven point five two seven for Ashley Sanford in Megalodon. Devin Winfield and Velociraptor is up next. Seventy-three seconds on the clock. The truck seems to have shut off. Lost some electrical issues. We'll see if he can refire and continue. We're going to see if he can refire. You can see the blue light underneath the truck when he's trying to fire. How it's flashing. Seems like it's an electrical issue. Not enough power getting to the motor and the battery to fire up. Devin Winfield Vossery. Nope, he just took the steering wheel off. That's it. There will be no score for Devin Winfield in Velociraptor. That is a tough break for Devin Winfield in Velociraptor. But make some noise for him, Charlotte. You know, again, these drivers don't like when these trucks break down. They get real disappointed. I just want to perform for you Monster Jam fans. Tough break for Devin Winfield. Devin Whitfield in Velociraptor. Tough break here in the freestyle competition. Hey, Monster Jam fans. I am now over here in section 105 with Cody and Denver, and they're up for a little fun challenge, another head-to-head -head game, but this time they're going to name as many animals as they can think of. So we're going to get 15 seconds up on the clock, and then they're going to go head-to-head -head against another Monster Jam truck driver to see who comes out on top, naming as many animals as they can think of. Cody, Denver, if you're ready, give me a high five. Yeah? Denver, give me a high five. Okay. 
We got the 15 second clock up there, but you guys got to say the animals into the microphone. Here we go. Ready? On one, two, three. Um, lion, elephant, zebra, tiger, Komodo dragon, dragon, horse, horse. dolphin, dolphin, dolphin. shark, snake, whale, sheep. Okay, we got 12 up there. Make some noise for Cody in Denver. Now we're going to see how many our Monster Jam driver could get. Gravedigger swag here tonight. Congratulations. Make some noise for Cody in Denver. Coming up next, it's MJ Solorio and El Toro Loco. friends is the chick-fil-a move of the night scan that qr code on the video board and guess what you're all going home with some free chick-fil-a courtesy of mj solario and el toro loco now your score to beat is thunder oars with a 9.068 the score for El Toro Loco is. Hey, that's a good score, MJ, 8.897. We're not done yet. Our two top contenders are still left to compete. Dunwiner Jurassic Attack is up next.
Let's hear it for Dalton Widener, Jurassic Attack. Jurassic Attack Airlines now flying out of Charlotte. A nice run by Dalton Widener, Jurassic Attack, getting some really big air. He's had a great night. Finishing second on Arena Championship Series West. Did a great job. Now your scores are locked in. We're going to see it up on the big screen. What is the score? It's an 8.164 for Don Weiner, Jurassic Attack. He's happy about that. But Charlotte, who's ready for the black and green wrecking machine? Who's ready? for your Monster Jam Arena Series West Champion. It's time for Matt Cody in Gravedigger. Eight seconds on the clock. That's going to complete his run, and there will be no score. The truck is broke. He will not be able to continue. From what we are being told by the officials, that is it. Unfortunately, he's got a broken shock, so he cannot continue. Charlotte, it's part of the Monster Jam rules. He cannot continue. If you look in the run, right there is where the shot completely comes undone. Which means your winner of Monster Jam Freestyle is Thunder Roras, Tony Oaks. Tony Oaks of Thunder Oris is your freestyle winner. Now that's eight points towards the overall event championship. So let's take a look. Six in freestyle, eight in donuts, seven in the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge, seven in JCB Racing, a total of 22 points. Your overall event champion is Delta Widener Jurassic Attack. Dalton Weiner, a Jurassic Attack, is your overall event champion here tonight. And Charlotte, what a great job and a great run. He has done a phenomenal job. We still have the trophy presentation for the Arena Series Championship after this. There he is. Make some noise. Congratulations, Dalton Widener, Jurassic Attack, tonight's overall event championship winner. Dalton, this belongs to you. Congratulations, ending this points series so strong, getting these fans up and out of their seats consistently. All I can say is congratulations. Thank you, man, you hit the nail on the head, man. All I wanna do is get you guys up out of your seats. I remember what it was like when I was a four-year-old kid, five, six, seven, sitting in those stands waiting for somebody to come out and man burn it to the ground and I wanna be that guy for every kid in the stands. I decided I was four, I decided when I was four years old that I wanted to do this. I've followed it my whole life and man, I'm finally up in the big leagues and it feels amazing. I don't even know what to say. Thank you to everybody at Team Throttle Monster. Thank you to everybody that's been in the back working on my truck, man. And thank you, Queen City, for giving me another overall event championship. I love you guys. Woo! Congratulations one more time to Dalton Whitener, tonight's overall event championship winner.
Now that all the series points have been totaled for our drivers, it is time to crown our Arena Championship Series West Point Champion, who receives an automatic bid to Monster Jam World Finals 23, coming up on May 18th at SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles. Fans, let's take a look at the video board to see our champion. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in his career, he is a champion with Monster Jam. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your new Arena Series West Point Champion. It's Matt Cody in Grave Digger. Congratulations to Matt Cody in Grave Digger winning the Arena Series West series championship title. Matt, this belongs to you, and this belongs to you. Hey, I'm going to set this down, man. That's the heaviest one I've ever held. I don't even know where to start. I never even pictured myself being here this year. I came in at week six. They called me. They said, hey, can you finish out the season? We got some stuff going on. I said, absolutely. You tell me where to be. I'll be there. Man, first off, I got to start right here. I got to thank my wife for taking care of these four, uh, you know, maniacs while I'm gone. We leave for 26 plus weekends a year, and she stays back and she keeps the house uh, held down, holds the fort down, takes the kids to school, daycare, everything, and I'm just out here playing with monster trucks. Man, we gotta thank these two here. Sebastian, man, he's been here for 15 weeks, slaving away on that truck, keeping it top notch, keeping it bad to the bone, and Andy joined us about three, four weeks ago, and he's been killing it ever since then, and I can't take anything away from these guys. Those are the reasons it, it, it go, comes out and competes every weekend. I'm just here just to drive and have some fun and entertain you all. Man, I gotta thank the Monster Jam staff, everybody in the office for believing in me, giving me the shot, coming out here. Got to thank longtime driver, Grave Digger driver, Brandon Vincent, for getting us to the top. He did six weeks, got Grave Digger to the top. Tyler Meniga, Cody Saucier coming in, filling in. And then, of course, man, I've been here for seven weeks, going in and out, battling with all these guys and girls, having a blast. And I, I have nothing else to say. I don't even know what else to say. But Monster Jam World Finals. Man, L.A., brand new West track. But, hey, I can't take nothing away from all these competitors. Like I said, 15 long weeks they've been out here slaving away, city after city, back and forth, and I got to bring them in. Where's he at, Dalton? Get on over here, man. Hey, this dude right here, probably 12 years ago, I met him in Knoxville, Tennessee. He was a young kid still in high school, had a dream of playing football, had a dream of becoming a Monster Jam driver, and he's out here living it ever since then. If I knew what I knew now, I probably would have never brought him to come help me because he's out here beating me. But, hey, I can't take away from what he's did. This trophy right here is going to go back to Maryland. It's going with Team Gravedigger. We're going to take it back, but I can't take the automatic bid to the Monster Jam World Finals. I can't take away from what he's been doing, so I'm going to pass off the automatic bid. He's going to go out to World Finals. I'm going to come out, sign some autographs, have some fun, but he deserves it, and he's going to World Finals. So thank you guys, Charlotte. Thanks for coming out, supporting Gravedigger, supporting me, supporting these guys, and we'll see you next time. Before we wrap it up here tonight, we're going to take a look at highlights from our Arena Series West Champion, Matt Cody, Gravedigger. What a twist of a night. Congratulations to our overall bit champion. Congratulations to our Arena Series West champion, Matt Cody and Grave Digger. But he has said it. He is not heading to World Finals. He is passing the torch. 
And Dullwinder Jurassic Attack, it is confirmed, is heading to Monsters Game World Finals 23 at SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles. On behalf of Film Entertainment and Monster Jam, we hope you fans had a great time. Thanks for joining us on YouTube, and thank you for joining us here in Charlotte. And that is all I have to say except this one sentence. That was Monster Jam! We'll see you at Monster Jam World Finals!